The Kremlin has denied rumors of its involvement in the plane crash presumed to have killed the Wagner boss Yevgeny Prigozhin. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov called the accusation, quote, an absolute lie. Russia has not officially confirmed Prigozhin's death and says it's waiting for test results. Prigozhin was listed as a passenger on a private jet that crashed near Moscow on Wednesday, according to Russian aviation, aviation authorities. The incident came two months to the day after Prigozhin's failed revolt and has sparked suspicions of a Kremlin assassination. Russian President Vladimir Putin broke his silence on Thursday, offering his condolences to Prigozhin's family. Russian authorities say they're investigating the cause of the crash, which killed nine other people. Now, in the absence of an official explanation, many journalists and experts have put forward their own theories. Now, I'm now joined by my colleague, Amir Esif, who has uh, dug through uh, all those theories. Walk us through the jet's final moments and what those moments might tell us about its fate. So these final moments can be called from online flight trackers, like flight radar. That's where we got ours. So the plane took off at 5.46 Moscow time, headed for St. Petersburg. Weather conditions were good. Uh, it was a pretty straight trajectory. Uh, that is until 8.00. 18.11, so 6.11 p.m., when things started to go abruptly wrong. About 30 seconds before uh, the crash, um, there was a sudden loss of altitude. You can see that the uh, flight was just tracked halfway uh, to the crash site, but right before the plane crashed, sudden loss of altitude, um, and uh, this points to some kind of catastrophic event. Usually, if there's some malfunction in the plane, things st start to go wrong pretty early in the flight, and you can see the flight, uh, the plane losing altitude slowly. But this looks like something bad happened in the air, and it went mm. straight down. Now, a lot of these online investigators, if you want to call it that, have been analyzing mobile phone footage that's been uh, on social networks uh, for evidence. Uh, tell us more about this video. Well, here's where things get really interesting. Just looking at the video, you can see evidence for what a lot of people point to as an explosion. Uh, let's take a look at this cell phone video that's been circulating. Um, first, you can see the plane sort of tumbling out of the sky toward the ground, trailed by smoke. Uh, a lot of people have said the smoke means there was some explosion, but let's go back here to this moment. I've uh, paused it here so you can see the plane. Mm -hmm. This is a kind of a profile of the plane, or a scene from above, as it were. Um, you can see that it only has one wing, or that's what people are saying that it looks like. And um, the people on the ground, witnesses on the ground, investigators, have said that the wing was found uh, very far away from the crash site. So a lot of people are saying that the plane suffered an explosion in the sky, and that's why the wing detached before it hit the ground. Obviously, if this was a malfunction of some system on the plane, a wing wouldn't just suddenly detach. Suddenly break off. Um, any clues as to what caused this explosion? Right, a lot of this is ex speculation at this point. Of course, planes can just spontaneously combust. That does happen, it's very rare, but it does happen. Uh, but the two theories being put forward right now, especially since Prigozhin was, um, for a lot of people, a dead man walking because of uh, his beef with uh, Vladimir Putin. Uh, a lot of people are saying that the explosion could have been on the plane or outside of the plane. On the plane, meaning a bomb planted on the plane. Outside of the plane, meaning a missile hitting the plane. Um, so let's take a, take a look at this video again, right from the beginning. Um, usually, this gets cut off of a lot of videos circulating online, but it's really important. Um, now, if we zoom in here, you can see the plane circled there. But up here in the corner, that's a cloud that is not coming from uh, the weather. You can see that it's a lot closer to the camera. And a lot of people have pointed to that and said it's a trail. Um, this is called a contrail. Uh, it's usually a contrail follows a surface-to-air missile. Um, but if you look at the video, too, you can see just by the way the light is that we're facing either south or uh, southeast here. And that is the trajectory of the plane. So it's not coming from a different angle, meaning that smoke could also have come from the plane. So not, uh, it's not conclusive evidence that this plane was hit by a surface-to-air missile, but a lot of people are pointing to that. And of course, this is very, very strong evidence that there was some kind of explosion in the sky since that kind of explosive cloud is hanging there in the air. So a lot of stuff that can be taken from uh, the video. Also, the person who filmed it is saying that they heard an explosion. Mm. That's why they started filming in the first place. Very, very intriguing indeed. Thank you very much. I mean, I see if that.